having the most animals, which the fancy word for Bugs Bunny, Swans and Hedgehog, anything that has to do with personality. So that's all they are. They design their own characters, they make the fun, they make their own costumes. They're as amazing um, as they all have their own personalities. So, yes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, not all parties are fitters, but all parties are parties. Um, so, the parties are very much aware of our thoughts. They are absolutely aware of our Thank <laughs> you. 
or it's a C. And that means like, oh, you did for a day, right? Mm. Um, so the thing with the um, first series of your speakers is that it can get irritating very quickly. Because you get into the early you have dog toys, and it's like constant, just this, constantly all day. And then you have like a sex and a them, and they're all doing it. You genuinely just want to end it. <laughs> and it's not, the time is just leave. So yeah, if you do speakers, then you kind of want to keep it to a minimum. Use it as effective, just not all of them. And I said, everybody who's got handlers. So these guys go, how many of you have handlers? Are you all sensible or are you living dangerously? Yeah. yeah, lots of fun. So they should have handlers because it, it gets warm. It's not so bad if they're in a group like this, but when they're in one group on the phone, they have no one to look out for them. If they get overheated, then there's no one there. So they need someone to carry their things, basically like a donkey. You know, you would load them up, load someone up with all your supplies, they would carry it for you, it's great. So they have someone with water, they have someone to look out for like obstacles, because you guys can't see below your noses. So like curves, like they will fall off the stage at some point. Yeah. <laughs> so you did you need someone, they're basically like a human guide dog. You need someone to guide you through crowds, just look after you. Um so yeah, they keep you safe as well, because if you're in public, they don't always understand. It's the same with cosplay, you know, you, you, if you're in public and they don't know what's happening, it can get quite scary sometimes. So you definitely want someone to look after you. And again, if people are overheating and you take your head off, like never be scared to break the magic, because especially like you mentioned, everyone is in costume. Cosplayers all understand the struggle of being in a suit. You know, it's the same with cosplayers, you guys all over here as well. So you need to look after yourself, for sure. Um, which brings us to our next point actually, because there's this is huge in cosplay where costumes don't equal consent. And for these guys, because they're cute, giant, fluffy animals, people tend to like approach you and try to tackle you in the belly. And when there is a like person under there that is horrible, like you can accidentally get groped, which no one wants. And yeah, people automatically do that. They come up and will be like, <laughs> which you don't want that, like, for sure. Um, so if you do want to pet a person, you'll pet them on the arm because that is like the nicest place. It's safe. You don't want to be petting their faces because fire doesn't grow back. And we can't actually feel it. Like if you pet your face, it's just not doing anything for us or you. So you're better off just not doing it. Um, because at first it says they're expensive and um, repaired <laughs> Baby, so I'm gonna give you guys a pickle and boo. 
Um, this will be your bar baby, so please demonstrate why you should want more babies. <laughs> I mean, so that's our question. Kick them. Okay. 
character, like watch the source material, like look at look at read the manga, as it's an anime or manga, like just watch your source material, get to know your characters and yeah. study them. Yeah. You, know, you can um, definitely put personality into everything that you do, whether that's walking, whether it's posing, you know, you always want to be conveying your character. Like you wouldn't you know those Captain Jack cosplayers from um Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, you wouldn't it wouldn't be the same if they didn't be if they weren't character. You know, you, you would have to act like sorry that drunk, slur your words, be very sort of flamboyant. Or it wouldn't work. And Gunnar wouldn't work right if he was say if he was like Lazara, like like very cute. I mean, those Google I think your expression is better. No. But <laughs> Gunnar has to be cute. It, Work. Like, it just. Are you going to be cute for it, Gunnar? Are you going to do it? No. Aww. God, I think that's the first time Gunnar has ever had an aww. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, it's happened to quite a lot of people and it's it's about the sale of like a hundred dollars or something. Whereas suits can cost up to three grand plus. So it's like a huge difference in quality and yeah, it's it's mad that it happens, but it does happen. It's it's thankfully quite unheard of within the family itself. Um, you can have like myself, you might have a twin that is a technical and triple and doesn't know that has the same sort of uh, red hair, uh, red fingers, uh, all about the about three of them, there are all very similar. Ironically, all we all came into existence at about the same time we never met the way out. Yeah. So it's, it's for you to be a It's cool though, like when you have the suits that are quite similar, you know, but they're not identical. It's, it's nice, but you wouldn't want to bump into someone that has an identical suit as yourself. Like, it's just, they're such a unique personal thing. Like, sometimes for people it's just not their ego. Um, other people it's not their ego. Sorry. Please, 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 yeah. It's harder to breathe. Yeah. Like, the whole thing is going to cost you. It's going to cost you. So, some of them, you want to call the like the puzzle. Because that's your favorite. Yeah. 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 Half an hour. Yeah, half an hour. So that's why the armor on top of it. Playing our practice. I mean, that's the first stop. Lazarus, I don't, I don't know what to do with this. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me, give me. Oh. We're now playing fetch with the door stop. Great. I can't take you guys anywhere, like, ever. It's always a riot, but it's so much fun. Like, if anything that you take away, you can take away. Have fun with you guys. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, if you... Another one is Oh, wait, I think it was that one. Oh, yeah, it comes off. Hang on, hang on for, for me. I can't see you. It's just... Please don't do it. Oh, God, yeah, please. First time, yeah. No, no, don't pull my tail. Yeah, people that have tails that are attached to their suit, it's usually bigger tails. Then there are people that have them that are actually attached to their belt, and you can actually move them. So if you get kids, especially, something bad that's in as well, they'll grab the tail and yank it. And I mean, that's attached to the belt. And then, yeah, 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 yeah,
have your sit stolen. And some people think it's all in good fun, and it's, you know. But other people do it out of like, kind of nastiness almost, like, because they know that you can't do much about it. Fix, you want your eyebrows fixed, are you okay? <laughs> Talking about cool. Yeah, too hot. <laughs> yeah, you can barely walk about in them. You know. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, it happens in every band. You know that, like from cosplay, everything. There's always that weird type of thing. But generally, it is just costuming. It's just costuming. It's like man, no different from mascots at Disney. You know, it's treated the very same way. Like the exact same. Yeah. <laughs> 